Well, good afternoon, St. Matthews, and welcome into Noon Prayer on this Tuesday of the first week after Pentecost. We are now in common days and ordinary days in the church calendar year. An order of service for noonday begins on page 103 in our Books of Common Prayer. If you'll give me just a minute, I forgot to set up one of the props. Russ Wetzel and Andy Williams, along with Janet Wetzel, put that together so that we could have that identification or that identifying uh, 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 sign there for our noon prayers that are videoed and online. A order of service for noonday begins on page 103 in your books of common prayer. Let us enter into God's courts. O oh God, make speed to save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Now turning the page, let us say together Psalm 126. And let us say that together in unison. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with shouts of joy. Then they said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. And we are glad indeed. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the watercourses of the Negev. Those who sowed with tears will reap with songs of joy. Those who go out weeping, carrying the seed, will come again with joy, shouldering their sheaves. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Now turning the page, a reading from Malachi. From the rising of the sun to its setting, my name shall be great among the nations, and in every place incense shall be offered to my name and a pure offering, for my name shall be great among the nations, says the Lord of hosts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Almighty Savior, who at noonday called your servant St. Paul to be an apostle to the Gentiles, we pray you to illumine the world with the radiance of your glory, that all nations may come and worship you, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Okay, dear ones, I invite your intercessions, your prayer requests, your thanksgivings, your petitions. We pray for Joe, our president, Kamala, our vice president, for Kay, our governor, and Paul, our mayor. We pray for Michael, our presiding bishop, for Glenda and Brian, our diocesan bishops. We pray for Sam, Steve, and Bob, our retired clergy. We pray for Dylan, our associate, for Lynn, our deacon, for Karen, our postulant for holy orders, and for Lauren, our missionary. Okay, dear ones, let us pray for five as it is our custom. We pray for Mona, Candia, Michael and Sheila Cape, Daryl and Barbara Carpenter, Ray and Miranda Castle, Scott and Tina Chekovic. Okay, dear friends, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for our noon Eucharist right here in the nave. Until then, let us bless the Lord.
Amen.